Hey guys, sort out, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is sort of an overview as well, an introduction video to Vegas image software. So if you ever subscribe or purchase Vegas post suite, uh, it pretty much uh, contain four primary editing software, which is Vegas Pro, Vegas Effects, Vegas Image, and SoundForge Pro. So Vegas Image is one of them. And Vegas Image is a photo editing software. And it's something similar to Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. And I would say it's a Photoshop and Lightroom merged together into one software. So Vegas Image is one of it, all right? So this is the home page of Vegas Image. And as you can see, we have some few existing projects that I've created in my computer. And if I click here, it will reveal more projects that I already hide and keep it to the side. So let's say if you have tons of projects in, in the in the home panel here, you can hide them so to make things much more uh, tidy and organized. So to do that, just example this project here, you just right click on it and hide and it will just hide away the project. So uh, let's get started by creating uh, a new document. So you press on new and it will load up tons of templates, okay? And you can choose existing templates here or create your own custom template, which I already created one over here, these three templates here. But let's just say you're unsure, let's press empty document and it straight away load up a blank document for us to start editing. So this is the Vegas image editing interface. So on the top side, we got the master toolbars, okay? And on the right hand side, which is we have the editing panel and it's very similar to Photoshop. So uh, let's import an image. And one of the way to import photos or image into Vegas image is click on this icon here and you click image from folder and it will load up this panel here. And so you just find where you save your photos in your computer. I save mine over here and you can select all and press open. Now the easiest way I found is just to directly drag and drop them. That's my preferred way. Okay. And this is the image that I want to edit. Now, before I proceed, Vegas image do accept raw format. So here I have uh, this five picture here is the Sony ARW raw. And this picture here is Canon CR2 RAW. So if you use either Sony or Canon cameras to take photos, Vegas image does accept those format just fine. All right, so let me just drag this five Sony uh, pictures here to Vegas image. Now Vegas image will prompt you with a message uh, if you like to merge all the five photos into a single layer or separate them to their own individual layer. Now I rather have uh, to be separate layer so I have full control on each photos rather than all of them merge because if you merge all of them to single layer any adjustment you make will affect all of them. Right, so I also going to enable a uh, check the resize canvas to fit the largest so that our canvas will automatically update to the size of the image. So I'm going to press five layers and it will import all of the photos to Vegas image. So let's save the project real quick. So to save, you click on a project here, press save and the save project dialog will load up. You click on the name and let's save it over here. So I'm going to give it a name, Vegas image, edit and press save and the bit depth here uh you can have it to be 8 or 16 bit up to you and also exclude or include transparency and press save now while it's saving a load up here okay the the progress may, uh progress bar uh, of the saving uh and also vegas image you can bridge uh the project file with vegas pro and vegas effects so if you import vegas image project to vegas pro it will just load up just fine and any adjustment you do in vegas image will be reflected in vegas pro timeline and same goes to uh vegas effect software all right so uh let's um show you a bit of the basic tools on the master toolbars so on the top here we got the select mode and the hand mode which is the shortcut key is V for the, the select mode and H for the pen mode. So the V for us, when you click on the picture, it will just uh, highlight and tell us the uh, layer properties as well for us to make adjustment on the image here. Okay, you can move around, you can scale it like so. Everything is directly on the image, very similar to Photoshop's. Now let's reset the image and H for us to pan around on the canvas and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out, which is very, very uh, intuitive and quick in my opinion here. All right, 
and then we have some other tools here on the top we got the uh strength and mode which i'm not really sure what it is and then we got the crop image the uh snapping tool so the image whenever you move it will just snap to the canvas which is great and then we have the alignment tool for us to align the text or the image uh, based on the canvas and then this viewing is basically for us to zoom uh, in and out. And then we have this uh, preview quality. Now it's very similar to Vegas Pro preview window. If you pick the best, it will render the image here in the canvas at the best quality. Now I like mine to be smart. So whenever I move around, it will render the image at a low quality. And when I pause, it will render back the image at the best full quality. So that it's putting less stress on your computer. All right. And then here on the right hand side panel here uh, on the bottom we've got a canvas setting you can click on it and adjust the canvas setting here okay we're not going to do that and then this one is pretty much for us to import an image and then this is the text layer if i click text layer it will add a text right now you, you don't see the text because i'm in the pen mode so if i press v which is a select mode it will reveal the text and i can move it around now <clears throat> unlike photoshop you know you can just press t and then click anywhere on the canvas and you can start typing uh, on the canvas but here in Vegas image the way you edit stuff are more like a video editing software to so for, for you to type something you have to type on the contact section here on the far right side of the panel so I'm gonna type Vegas image edit and it will just update your your text whatever you have right here to the on the canvas and of course to change the font make sure you highlight the text and pick whatever font you want to use and I'll update there okay and of course you can change the paragraph alignment the text color all of this can be done on the font section here okay next we have the solid uh, layer click on solid color it will just add a solid layer and you can change the color to whatever value you want okay and then we have adjustment layer and whatever adjustment you made on this particular layer will affect everything below it very similar to premiere pro adjustment layer and then we have a grouping folder so you can group bunch of image or layers and stuff to this group and you can hide this group and it will hide whatever uh, content inside that group which is very similar to photoshop and then finally on this hamburger icon you can have hdr uh, hdr merge and focus that which i'm not going to cover in this video right so let me just uh ungroup here in this layer and remove this tree stuff here on the top let me just enable the text real quick all right so whenever you click the image or photos here in vegas image it will update the panel here so this panel represents the properties of the image okay and vegas image is a non-destructive editing software so whatever effects you apply whatever adjustment you made it will never destruct the uh, pictures which is extremely great so uh this is the layer properties here okay on the top so whatever adjustment you make like transformation all that kind of thing will be reflected here and the same goes if you use the, the select mode okay you can see the values here are changing and you can reset that real quick by press this reset transformation and to do blending you can just also go to the blending section here so for us to blend two image together with the image below it so it's very similar to Photoshop and you can also play with the image opacity over here and then we have masking okay masking in vegas image is slightly different you press plus for us to add mask it's like how you add bezier mask in vegas pro so first we have the brush so right now it will just make the picture transparent click on this thing to invert and use your mouse wheel to control the brush and if you click it will just mask out the image okay and if you right click it will just unbrush back the the uh, masking okay and let's remove the brush and if i add a different one here which is uh, area area is the shapes tools okay very similar to vegas bezier mask you can move around change the sizing by just you know click on the corner here and then you can play with the curvature of the of the area mask the softness the opacity and this is the shape mask here in vegas image it doesn't call it shape but instead it's called area mask let's delete that and then we have the the curve sorry uh the the vector uh mask so this is like a pen tool make sure you press v click anywhere in the canvas to drop and you can make some fine-tuned shapes here 
and then you can close the mask and it will just mask out the image based on the shape that you have created with the vector mask this is like the pen tool and there's some other masking uh, mode here but i honestly use vector area and brush the most okay let's delete the mask and then we have the effects and that's this is why i say vegas image is like a video editing software because you add effects onto the image okay like how you add video effects inside vegas pro okay uh so let's say you want to we want to you know play around with the image exposure here so let's search for exposure okay uh and then you can start tweaking the image let's give it a bit of mid tones okay let's add a bit of black points add a bit of saturation i mean vibrance okay now let's bring down the highlights here Add a bit of contrast and let's say you're happy you can drop down a bit of the exposure to make our uh, interface a bit more nicer and if i disable this image to continue the image below it that effect only apply on image one so it will not affect everything it only affect that image that you have uh, edited which is like a video uh, editing software and you can add more effects like say a uh, clarity and then you can play around this is like adobe lightroom this is why i say vegas is mitch it's like photoshop and lightroom because the coloring tool here in vegas image are i would say on par with adobe lightroom and for you to do a composite here is also kind of on par with photoshop now i will not say it's superior than photoshop but i still say it's on par with adobe lightroom because you do you can do a lot of fancy stuff here with vegas image okay so let's say you want to add glow let's search for glow effects and i have my own custom preset here dream glow and i'll just add the glow effect here and then if you want to continue edit the second image you can disable the image one here and then continue adding more effects on the image two exposure and then you can play around with the settings here mid tones exposure contrast recover the highlight all that kind of thing can be done here in uh, vegas image okay let's move on to the second picture now instead of you know applying the same effect you can copy the effects on the previous layer so all you have to do is just click on the layer uh that contain the effect that you want to copy okay make sure you select all of them Control c then go to the image that you want to edit Control v and it will just paste the effect there straight away super quick and convenient and all of these are non-destructive okay and you can always delete back the effects and it will never destruct the image which is extremely great now since this is a raw photos that we're working on and so under the content section you can you have more parameters for us to adjust which like the denoise here because this is a raw image so you have more parameters now if let's say you import a normal photos like png or jpegs let me add one like uh, grain over here you can see it just um, it just doesn't apply. Uh, it, there's not much of control. It just stated the metadata, the size, and type of formats of the picture. So unlike raw, you have more controls over here. It will show up here in the content sections. So let's say the green. You you want to use the green. You can just you know resize the the green image here. Press shift to change the aspect ratio, and then go to the layer properties, and you can blend them screen maybe multiply and then tone down and that's how you blend the image together okay pretty nice so let's put the text here somewhere around like that right so let's say you want to export the image so right now i have multiple photos okay i want the image one to be composite with these grain and the text while the image two tree it's on its own edit okay you can batch export them that's why i say vegas image is like adobe lightroom so now if you go to export now the export button is over here on the right on the top right panel export canvas okay you can choose type of formats here you can even export photoshop psd or vegas effects com okay you can play around the quality of the formats now on the export layers you've enabled that you can export all individuals or selected layers only okay so that means you can select multiple photos here and export all of the three pictures for example or export all layers in the vegas image layer okay 
and you can also uh, have a full composite which will export multiple image of it and then you can even export flight the group means let's say these tags uh, image 6 and image 1 is one combined uh, photos you can only export that one part and then export the rest so uh, I'm gonna group them first group layer let me just select them go to the group so now this group 2 is one full image okay so Vegas image gonna export one two three four and five photos which is great so let's press on the export button here flatten group I'm gonna enable use canvas and press export so let's save it over here press save and Vegas image will start exporting the progress menu is on the top here so once done if you go back to our photos you can see it export the, the first image the second image the third image and so on so you can see the group one the group two is this image and the rest is this image here so you can batch export your photos with Vegas image that's why as I say again it's very comparable with uh, Adobe Lightroom right so I hope this introduction video to Vegas image will help you guys out there you know to get started using Vegas post suite and if uh, if you have any question related you can leave down a comment section and I'll see you guys next time so bye bye